Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing the haul from my last yard sale footage video. So as you, if you watched the video, you know I went to an estate sale as well as I went back to that sale I went to last week where I got a lot of stuff and then I just went to some random yard sales. So I'm going to show you what I got at the estate sale first. So they actually posted up on Facebook some pictures, so um, I kind of got an idea of the things that I could see of what, you know, interested me. Um, so one of the things were these mugs here. I could tell that they were milk glass in the picture, and I found out that they were by um, Hazel Atlas. And some of these mugs... The colors sell a little better than others so I saw these turquoise ones there and there were three of them so I got a set of three these were three dollars a piece um, I've been to a couple of estate sales before but they're not something I go to super often because I can't I can't really find many um, in my area but when they do pop up I do like to go to them but they're kind of like they're more expensive than yard sales, but less expensive than auctions. So it's kind of like an in-between type of thing. So $3 a piece for these, but I was seeing um, some sell just one mug for $27. So I'm going to list mine together in, a, in the lot of three that I have here, and we'll see how it does. So I got those, and then I debated on getting the red. There were only two red there. Again, $3 a piece. Um, the red doesn't sell as well, it seems like. Um, but I figured, you know, I'm here at this sale. When am I going to find these again? I'll just grab them. So I don't think I'm going to get as much for these, especially since there's only two. But I think the more you have, obviously, the more... Um, you'd probably get for them and also I believe there's a yellow color and orange which I think are even harder to find than the turquoise so if you would ever come across them it's something to to definitely um, keep an eye out for and then I had said in my video there were two rooms I kind of wanted to be in at the same time and there was another room where I could see there were um, perfumes, fragrances, men's colognes, like I saw some Old Spice bottles there, and I wanted to go to that room as well, but when I walked in the door, the mugs were the first thing I saw, so I grabbed them while I could, um, and then when I went to the room, well, when I found the room that had the, uh, fragrances, there was a man there that had nabbed them all up, and they were mainly just Old Spice, but some of the Old Spice, um, colognes do do well the older ones and then the other things I saw well the Old Spice bottles that he didn't grab were pretty much they were empty bottles and then there were a lot of like Avon decanters which I don't I don't really buy those um but I did take one of the Old Spice items because this one was full uh, but it, this is just the Pro Electric Before Shave Lotion so I think this was I think this was $2. I think they had $2 on this. I don't know if this one um, is really worth much, but I didn't want to not get it and then find out that it was worth a lot, so I just took that one. And then this next thing was kind of like a spur of the moment purchase. I didn't notice it in any of the pictures, but I got this vintage scrapbook for $5, and this thing is chock full of vintage cards so there's Christmas cards in here birthday cards that was a graduation card and then there's even some just kind of like tucked in I don't know if they like fell off um, but just really really cute I'm guessing these are maybe from the 50s I'm not quite certain um, but I just thought that was such a fun a fun find like I couldn't I could not get it um, just so pretty the um the graphics on them so I'm going to sell this as as it is the whole um, scrapbook with everything inside of it um, so we'll see how that does I think people who maybe are into like crafting and journaling and stuff might like those old cards um, for the images so 
that was five dollars so I'm excited to see um, how that goes all right so then I went back to the sale at the auction and this was like a half hour later by the time I got to it and well, it wasn't at the auction but it was by the man or his brother that runs the auction house and last week when I went it was absolutely packed packed upon packed of people and when I went I pulled up and I'm like there's like literally hardly anyone here I'm like are they even having a sale I saw it in the paper because it was nothing like last week so I went in and I looked around you guys saw um, it was a lot of the same stuff from last week but he marked everything down and then there were just a couple of new things and I got some of the new things as well so I'm glad I went back one of the new things that I found was this box of candy corn lights and these things are so awesome. I am assuming they're older um, just based off the plug alone, um, but I'm not sure, you know, when they're from, essentially. There I am, essentially. Um, but these were, it was $2 for the box and um, it said that they work and when I got home I plugged them in and they do work. They're really awesome looking so I feel like it's rare that I find vintage Halloween stuff so I had to nab those and I couldn't find any listed or sold so I don't know what I'm going to get for them but I just had to get them. I took this um, Pittsburgh Steelers mug. I thought this was pretty heavy duty. It almost looks like it reminds me of a tankard. Um, just because it's such a large mug and it does have um, the whatever you call that officially licensed um, NFL sticker here on the bottom looks to be in brand new condition and last week it was two dollars but it was marked down to a dollar so I decided to get that I think maybe that'll sell maybe quicker around uh, Christmas time when people are buying gifts I also took this. It was $3 last week, marked down to 2 I was looking at it last week, but I couldn't decide on him. It's got two faces. I mean, I think it's the same face, but on both sides. And it is like a picture. And it's marked on the bottom, and I found out who made it, and now I can't remember now. Um, I want to say it's Lynn, Lynn something. I'm not sure it's this right here on the bottom so I'll have to I'll have to relook it up and find out what it was I should have wrote it down and I didn't um, but yeah so I got that I had seen in my video someone had mentioned the little wooden houses by the cat's meow and I see these houses literally it seems like everywhere I know my mom had some and I just didn't really know much about them I figured they were like a crafty item and that they really weren't worth a whole lot um so I did look them up and it seems like some sell better than others and um like if you have a lot of them I think they sell sell a little better than selling each one singly I don't think um they're worth much singly unless you have like one that's really like sought after type of thing so they had a ton of these an absolute ton last week they were a dollar a piece but this week they were 50 cents a piece so I bought all of them and I did look them up they're from different series because I guess they came in different sets and stuff like that um, but I think I'm gonna list them all together or I might break them break them down by sets depending I haven't decided yet uh, but I'll just quickly go over these so you can see them. There was a lot, so this is just going to be a quick run through here. These two, that one, this one. I wasn't kidding when I said I bought a lot of them. There are so many. So, this one, this one, this one. If you want to, you can speed up the video to bypass these if you're not interested in looking at them. 
but there's just so many. Some are kind of like Christmas themed black cat antiques. That's really cute. Um, this one's kind of Christmas themed. That one. And I think this one is the last one. This little house here. So all of those, 50 cents a piece. I see freaking salt sellers absolutely everywhere I go sometimes. And I think I saw these last week, but I didn't get them. They had $2 on them last week, and they were marked down to a dollar. So I figured I'd nab them then. Um, but there's just two of them in here. They do have their spoons, and they just look like this. They do have a mark in the inside. They say Crystal Made in Czechoslovakia. So... I'm not sure how much they are worth, if much of anything, so we'll find out. All right, so I got this guy here, and oh my goodness, you guys. This is the kind of stuff I like to decorate with. Um, when it comes to the holidays, I love these types of things. I think you call it primitive, essentially. Um, this guy was a dollar one dollar he's holding this little bat in his hand and you can display him either way this way he's making kind of this scared face and then this way he's happy so i just absolutely love him there's no marking on him um as to you know who made it but i could never part with this this is going into my halloween decorations for sure so I got that there for a dollar. That was a new item. He had put out Halloween, some Halloween and Christmas stuff that was new. And then I also got these, and I was really excited by these as well. I got three Halloween themed notepads. These are by um, Primitives by Kathy. So this one's called um, Black Cat Orange Sky. And these were a dollar a piece. This one is called Cat Collector. How freaking cute is that? Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, it's got plastic wrap on, so it's a little blurry. And then this one's called Got Candy. So notepads for a dollar. Looks like they were originally $2.99 from the store. But I love, 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 love the look of these. Absolutely love them. Um, so I'm going to be using these uh, closer to October um, when I'm writing out um, my little thank you notes to you guys um, when you purchase something from me. So we're going to switch out the thank you cards to the Halloween notepad paper for sure. I absolutely fell in love with those. So I think that's everything I got at um, the auction sale. So we're going to jump on into the yard sale stuff. So one yard sale I stopped at, it was actually a moving sale. So the house was absolutely gorgeous and um, a lot of their stuff was um, just really expensive stuff. Not necessarily that it was priced expensive, but they had such nice, beautiful, expensive things. So one of the first things I found and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is the first time I've ever found Le Crusette, Crusette, Crusette at a yard sale before. But their stuff is super expensive. Like this is the kind of stuff you'd find in like, I don't even know, like William Sonoma, I guess. I know that store is really pricey. Um, but this is an oval baking dish. It's called a pottery. Um, I believe it was, yeah, it was 11 inches. So I got this. And it's just this beautiful blue color. And I don't know what happened. There's my price sticker. It was $5. $5 for this. This was probably seven. I would guess like $60, $70 originally. Maybe more than that. I don't really know. Um, but that was a super fantastic find. I think I'm going to sell it. Um, unless I feel like I, I need to keep it. I haven't decided yet. And then I got two of these art glass pieces. I'm going to start picking up the art glass. I know you guys um, always kind of like say, mention it in my videos when I don't pick it up. Um, but I got this piece here and this was $2. And I was more so drawn to 
um, the next piece and I will show it to you here. So this is the piece that I had picked up originally. It was $2 as well. And this one actually is marked on the bottom Murano. And I always hear people talking about Murano and like, even like when listing stuff, putting Murano in the title, but like I don't know how to tell um, what is and what isn't Murano. So the fact that this had a sticker on that said Murano, I was like, all right, I'm safe. I'm safe with that. So I got that for $2 and then I didn't even have this one in my hand. I wasn't going to get this one, you guys. Even though they looked the same, I didn't know if this one was actually Murano or not because there's no sticker on the bottom. And this one I felt more safe with because I knew what it was. Um, so the lady's like, oh, I have another one of those sitting over there. So I was like, okay. So I took it just because I figured, well, if this one is, why wouldn't this one be? You know what I mean? But I don't know. So if anyone knows how to tell, like, what makes this Murano and maybe this not, um, let me know um, where I can find out information about that because I don't want to list this as Murano if, it not, if it's not actually Murano. Guys, I had gotten more stuff at the auction and I totally forgot the box that's sitting beside me. So we'll jump back to, um, I keep saying the auction, it's the man's yard sale that works at the auction. Anyway, we'll get back to that in a minute. Let me finish the yard sale stuff first. Um, I found these Sorel shoes, brand new in the box, and this is what they look like. These are super cool. I have a pair of Sorel boots, uh, but these are like sandals, like sneaker sandals, essentially, but they are brand new. They are a size, I think they're, what size are you? What size are you? These are a size eight and a half and I paid $5 for them. So, brand new pair. They still have their original price sticker on here for $110. This yard sale that I stopped at, oh my gosh, again, everyone's stuff, like just really expensive brands. So, also at that yard sale, I got this vintage, this is vintage, Gap Om set. So it's got a bar soap in here, a perfume, and a lotion for $3. And like I said, this is in the Om fragrance. You guys, if you ever find vintage Gap perfume, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, this perfume, this bottle right here in here alone, $400. I'm not even kidding. Go look it up. <laughs> So to get this whole little set for $3, mind blown. I was so, so excited to find that because finding Gap perfume is just a rare occurrence to begin with. So that was so exciting. And then I also bought this for $3. It is a set of, I don't think it actually came in this bag. They just stuck it in here. But everything is still sealed, brand new. Um, there, it's by a company called, called it's by a company called Skin Dimitri James, and this is a sugar and shea butter body polish. This one is Collagenesis by Skin, and it is an essential radiance um, body oil, but again, still sealed. And then this one is a botanical extract mist. So this is a really expensive skincare line. I had never heard of it before, but I didn't even look it up. Like I'm just looking at their stuff and everything's really like expensive brands. So, you know, two and two together, she probably paid a lot of money for this stuff. And that seems to be the case. So I'm probably going to list all of this together in a lot. I think these two items sell for more than this guy here. So I, I think I'm just gonna sell them all together. Also at her sale, I got this um, smoky eyeshadow palette. This is also by that skin brand and it is new. I don't think this is really worth much. 
so I'll probably just keep it for myself, but that was $1. Also out of her dollar box, I took these Opium by YSL. One's a shower gel and one is a body moisturizer. So these would have came in like a set with the perfume. The perfume wasn't there. Um, you know, when you get these sets, a lot of people don't really like to use the shower gel and the lotion. They just want the perfume. I'm the, I'm the same way. Um, but the opium scent is really popular. So for a dollar a piece for those, I thought that was still a really good deal. And then she had a free box full of nail polish. So I took this free bottle of OPI nail polish in Concord Grape. So it's just this really pretty dark purple. So that was free. And then, and then, at her sale, I was looking at a two pair of men's uh, wingtip dress shoes by Bostonian. And she's like, oh, you can have those. I was like, really? I was like, are you sure? She's like, yeah, just take them. So I got two pairs of free Bostonian men's leather wingtip shoes. So they still even have um, their box. But these are definitely older. These are vintage, what you would consider vintage. Um, the first pair. So the first pair look like this. They're just black wingtips. They're in okay shape. They're not in like the best condition, but Eric will probably um, fix these up looking nicer. Usually I do that, but since these are men's shoes, he'll probably do that. And then this is the other pair. I like these a little more because these are these are brown, but again, wingtip leather, free, absolutely free. You know I can sell these for <laughs> way more than free. Um, I have sold a Bostonian men's leather wingtips, um, I'd say maybe I could get between 40 and 50, maybe more for these, so that was great. I got some more makeup. I got a um, Morphe James Charles palette. It says it was not used. I paid $8 for this, so it wasn't the pricey side, but this is, you know, a um, more expensive palette. I feel like for a while there, this was selling out and going for a decent amount, but then I think um, James Charles might have been caught in like a drama type thing, so I don't know if his stuff is selling for as much as it used to. Um, so I'm probably going to sell this, um, maybe try for 40 um, and see. I haven't, I think Eric looked it up but I can't remember what he said. I don't wanna like take it out of the packaging and potentially like nick a shade or something. So I apologize for not opening that. I got this perfectly posh heebie-jeebie foot peel kit. So this was $1, and you know what's funny? Underneath the dollar, you can kind of see there was a $3 sticker. And this, this is what happens to me. Going to yard sales year after year after year, when you go to the same sales and you know what people have and say you don't get something one year, there's a very high potential that you will see the same stuff that didn't sell the year four years before, and this was an instance of that. I saw this last year, and they had $3 on it, and I thought that was a little too pricey. So they came down to a dollar for it, and I bought it this year. So it's just this little set. Um, I think it has socks in here. Like it comes with the uh, treatment, the foot peel treatment. It comes with um, the plastic booties, and then it also comes with a pair of socks you can put on over the plastic booties when the, the the gel is doing its work. But essentially, if you guys have never used like an exfoliation kind of treatment for your feet, um, you keep this, like these booties on with this like gel type of stuff. And then you leave it on for so long. I think this is an hour you leave these on. And then um, in about... In about a week, sometime sooner, um, your foot will just peel. The skin, the dead skin, just peels off in these thick ass layers. I'm not even kidding. It's the most 
disgusting, most wonderful thing ever. I was picking dried dead skin off my feet for for days it felt like um and it was wonderful it was extremely messy um so just throwing that out there but i had a lot of fun with it i didn't ever use this one i don't remember which which treatment i used what brand it was i think i got it out of like a maybe a ipsy box or something um, but I had a lot of fun with it. Eric wasn't too, too happy with it, um, because feet gross him out. I don't know. Uh, but I had a lot of fun with it. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check out, like, foot peel, um, masks. Um, I, <laughs> I bought this guy. I just, I had to get him. How cute is he? So this looks like someone just kind of, like, hand-painted a little owl on a, on a wood plaque that you can hang. He was only 25 cents. So I got him. I just thought he was cute. And I got this little witch troll. I thought she was so adorable too. She's got a little hat on and this little broom. I'm ready for Halloween and fall. This is gonna be a little hard to show on camera. I got this Disney Mickey Mouse Giant Air Blow Inflatable. So this originally retailed, you can see it up here in the corner, $99. I paid 20 bucks for it and it's brand new. It is brand new, still sealed up in this box and I'm really excited to sell it. <laughs> so the fact that this was new is why I bought it. Um, so when I looked it up, I was seeing, I think I saw one for sale for like 140 something. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, this is like my first inflatable I've ever purchased to resell. So um, sometimes when I buy stuff that I've never bought before to resell, it's always kind of like, will it sell type of thing. But I figure even if I can't sell it on eBay or something, I could definitely probably sell it on Facebook Marketplace um, for a decent amount. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm hopping back over to the stuff that I forgot to show that I got at the auction sale. So I was looking at these as well last week. This was originally, he had $3 on, but marked it down to a dollar. So this is by Stangle. It's just a really pretty plate. It has um, a lemon print there on the front. So I got that one and then I took this one as well. He did have a dollar on it, but marked it down to 50 cents. So just a little smaller plate, but again, it's made by Stangle. I also took this little dog. Well, he's not really all that little. He's pretty, pretty decent. Um, but he's ma made in Japan, was $2 last week, marked down to a dollar. So I got him. And I don't remember seeing this one last week. I don't know if I just looked over it. This was $4 last week, marked down to a dollar. I absolutely love it. It says American Chestnut, I always, when I say chestnut, I wanna say chestnut. American Chestnut Folk Art. It's called Visiting Friends there on the bottom but look at how cute it is so there is a little frog here and a frog there and a duck and he's just walking um through what looks like a puddle like it actually makes it look like water i just thought that was so freaking cute had to get it so i fell in love with that i'm probably selling it though but it's really cute so that is everything i believe for this yard sale haul there was a lot of stuff um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed you'll have to let me know what you thought down below and i will see you next time